Um, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'll be teaching you how to. Well, this is the fourth part in my redstone tutorial. Oh my god, I already messed up the opening. Whatever, I'm not gonna edit this out. I'm too lazy. Um, anyway, yeah, this is the uh, fourth part, and today we'll be learning about um, combining logic gates. Uh, and yeah, this is Hunger Games map uh, improved a little bit. Yeah. It's getting to look like a city over there. I mean, you can comment below, tell me what you think so far. But yeah, it's, I can tell it's going to look really look good the way I want it to. Um, anyway, so let's see what we got here. Uh, sorry, my controller is a bit messed up, so I got to like press it harder. And Yeah, anyway. So here we got a T flip flop here. Um... And if you don't know what a T flip flop is, you should go to watch part three of my uh, redstone guide slash tutorial. Anyway, so I just wanted to sh show off another use for uh, a toggle uh, flip flop. And look, he opens up a hidden door. Uh, like I said in my previous video, uh, you know these are more preferable for. Uh, Toggle doors in general, well, just doors in general, yeah. Um, you know, this is the, uh, the switch that closes it uh, because you can wire a lot of uh, inputs into this. Well, over there. Uh, you, if you watch the last video, you'll understand. Um, yeah, so this is when you go inside the house, you know, here, like here's would be the button, you know, like you can wire it up any way you want. See how it clo well, it opened actually. So let me just close it off and then let me just walk around here. But yeah. I'll be giving you guys I guess a tutorial on how to do this uh later, I guess, in my redstone creations uh tutorial. But for now, it's just gonna be used for uh to demonstrate how to use how to combine logic gates, which are the things that I've been teaching you guys how to use in these past videos. Anyway, so you actually gotta set it up so you gotta give me a second okay guys so we're back and uh... i just um, added some logic gates to this uh... so right now see we got our button here that does not toggle well it doesn't toggle the uh... doesn't toggle the hidden door anymore and that's because you know if you've seen in my last uh... My second part of my tutorial, I taught you how to make an end gate, which is this right here. And, uh, yeah, so, just if you don't know, you can go back there real quick. But just, so I, I'll just repeat it anyway. Uh, well, I'll just tell you. Uh, both of these torches need to be off for this output to be on. Yeah, so that's pretty much, yeah. So you got uh, the enabler here. See, it won't, it won't toggle unless this enabler is on because they're both not off. So I have to turn this off and uh, press the button. Doors open. Doors open. Um, then we got you know this setup over here is pretty much the same as it was before, and this button just does the same thing. Closes it, and pretty much what we did here uh, is we added an inverter into this latch right here. If you don't know what inverter is, just refer to my first part. The latch is in my third part, um, but yeah. So we, over here we got a uh, latch right here. So um, and what happens is when you press the button, it comes all the way over here and uh, inverts the signal or, or turns this torch off, right? So that there's no power going into this block. Well, there still is, but pretty much it remembered the input that it got, and now it's staying like that. Yet yeah, there's no reset button on this. Uh, I guess you can add one if you would like, um, but uh, this right here, uh, just the latch just goes into the um, this other end gate, which turns off this torch right here, um, and pretty much this acts as our enabler right here, just like in the beginning, you know, with the lever. It's pretty much the same thing, but just uh, it just, this is just acting like the uh, lever right now and then now we are able to uh, press this button right here which I've added uh, to unlock the door because both of these inputs make the torches go off and then turn this one on 
and it opens the door. So yeah, that's just an example of how you would uh, combine some uh, logic gates and the. Uh, this is pretty much where redstone starts getting like really complicated and fun and very interesting and not really like boring or whatever. If you think it's boring, some people actually do. So yeah. I just wanted to show you guys real quick this, well, show you guys this real quick because, you know, so you guys could, uh, understand and what type of stuff you can do with redstone. And from here, I guess you would, uh, just redstone until your heart's content, I guess, or just wire a whole bunch of stuff up, you know? Um, I guess, uh, like I said before, earlier, I will be making a tutorial for this right here. It's fairly easy and pretty good, you know, it's a pretty good uh, grid door. It's fairly compact as well, you know, doesn't take up that much space. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, if you learned anything, you could uh, leave a like uh, and subscribe if you want to see some more. And comment, I always love comments, you know, I always reply to comments as much as I can. So far, I haven't really missed anybody that asked any questions. But uh, if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you think I should do next or anything like that, just uh, let me know. I'd happily take your requests and, you know, or you can just ask me something that you think that is even possible to make and I'll tell you if, you can, if I can make it or not and I'll make a video or whatever. But, um, yeah, so, uh, and, well, after this as well, I'm going to start my uh, redstone, uh, well, because I believe this is the last part of this, unless you guys want to, uh, unless, if I make any other redstone guide slash tutorials, it'll probably be like a how uh, redstone works or something. You know, I said redstone works. How, just like the P, like anything redstone, how it works, like, a, for example, like a repeater, you know. Like, just explaining how it works and how it connects to blocks and powers up blocks and stuff. Same thing with torches. Because those can be confusing at times, you know. Uh, I guess I could explain a little bit about redstone dust too, you know, just all the stuff like that. If you guys want that, um, just let me know and I'll definitely uh, make that happen. Uh, but for now though, after this, this is going to be the last part for now and I'm going to start building uh, or making creations, uh, redstone creations like uh, doors and whatnot and stuff like that. Um, well, tutorials on them so, so you guys can learn how to make them. Even if you don't look at the, even if you don't watch the uh, tutorial slash guide, um, but yeah, guys, I guess I'll um, talk to you later.